Hey guys, this is Mr. Shim coming back at you with a new video and today we're going to be reviewing the fire ant. So I'm going to unbox this. I've already cut um all the things so um it will be quicker and it won't take up like an eternity. So we already opened it and the fire ant falls out. And then I can open this. And there's a bunch of instructions on the fire end. So let's. So, um, to get s so basically, um, it's pretty much the same as when I reviewed the hex bug larva. It uses uh, uh, the remote control uses um two um uh, age. Let me let the camera focus. AG13 LR44 357 1.5 volts a and then the fire end uses the same type of batteries except it uses three of them and they're already included with them um, the batteries are already included when you buy that so it's pretty neat so let's get started on the fun but to turn this on uh you just press this I think it should turn on because there's no oh yeah you yeah, have to remove these tags remove this tag and I'm gonna remove this tag do okay oops so I'm gonna power this up so as you can see it's glowing red now which is pretty cool so as you can see, the fire is real. So the text on infrared light through here, the remote works through infrared, which is a reoccurring theme in hex bugs. But let's get started. As you can see, this is like crazy fast. And to turn, just press on one. Yeah. So it's super fast like that. Ah! Um. So as you can see, it, it was so fast that it drove off my table. So I'm afraid of driving it straight because it's so fast. So it's like insanely fast. So we can also compare um, its body structure to um, the hex bug and so if we turn it on, as you can see, um, it does not uh, have any like light that's going on probably because it has no fire and um, if we compare the frame as you can see it's a bit modified it's much more angular on the fire end whereas on the original end it is much more streamlined it's the same deal for the wheels uh yeah and as you can notice, the two also have the same antennae, except for the fire end, they don't have these coils because they don't really do anything. They're just like aesthetics. Uh, um, and as you can see, it has like a back sensor here. Here, there's no back sensor because it's remote controlled, of course. It's your brain, not the ant's brain. Uh, so yeah, and you turn it on using this, which is pretty unusual. Normally you turn it on using this and stuff. So uh, yeah, so I'm not sure how I get to channel 2, so let me press it again. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not completely sure. Or maybe it just detects if another fire ant exists, I guess. So uh, yeah, and if I compare it to remote control, uh, they use the same amount of batteries, okay? Um, except, as you can notice, it says, on this is my spider remote control, it says, on here, it says hex bug, uh, and, and then on the new one, it says it's here, it says hex bug here, so, um, that's sort of, um, that's just like a fun fact. And then here it actually says what type of hex bug this belongs to. Here it says fire ant. Here it doesn't say spider anywhere. And as you can see, um, they've changed like the arrows. And 
and um this font here for the channels and also if you're wondering why it's like this um that's not really it just depends on what hex bug i show you i could show you my strand beaster mode but um on the strand beaster mode and the, basically in the old style but if, depending on what hex bug it might be like this or like this i wonder if i can control my fire amp let's see cross compatibility no so it's like super fast. Let's try to see its movement. You can sort of make music with this thing as well. And I think this was really cool, the light. Oh yeah, so let's zoom in. Zoom in. It's, hold on. So we're zooming in. So as you can see, you can see this thing up close as it traverses the terrain. And it can see you. That's not what I was going for. See you. So yeah, let's get a close up of the light. And also another difference between the fire ant and the ant is that um as you can see I got a blue fi blue ant, but um the circuit board, if you look closely, that's green. It's actually a green circuit board. But, but on the fire ant, if you look closely, um the circuit board's color it depends on which color you get. So I, I got like a yellow, like an orange one. So I got an orange circuit board. Let's zoom out. Who do do zooming out? So like it's really scary actually. Like just like so fast. Like you can't avoid it. Really, and it's also re really loud. So, yeah, and that's pretty much all there is to it. This is Mr. Shroom, and I'm out.